The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 3rd, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you've got a question but you can't call in, we can answer it. Send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Now, if you're inside our Tiger Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a sea of red out there. That sea of red goes like this. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. All the sectors with inside the S&P 500 doing the same thing. We're all off about uh, the least amount of a move to the downside is the trannies. They're down 7 tenths percent. The S&P is up 1 and 3 tenths. Dow's down 1 percent. NASDAQ 100, 1 and 6 tenths. The same with the Russell. Semi's down 1 and 7 tenths percent. The Dow's off 361. S&P 57. NASDAQ 247. Russell down 28. Semi's off. 60. Gold's off $3. Silver's down a penny. Lights recruit is up 28 cents. Natural gas is up 8 cents. 30 year treasury printed out at 111.06. That's off one point and six ticks. Dollar wise, leading the charge, the upside, you got point to bar biopharma up about $6 or 85%. Maybe that's a IPO. Thermo Fisher Scientific up five bucks, 1%. Land Theos Holdings up 6.5% or 4 bucks. Simplify interest rate hedge up 4%. $3 and change. Boeing is up $3. That's nearly a 2% move. HubSpot trading at the downside off 22 bucks, nearly 5%. Little nearly 6% for Super Microcomputer. That's a $16 move. About 2% for Broadcom, 16. 2% for BlackRock, 15. And Eli Lilly down about 2.5%. That's a 15 point move there as well. So let's begin. Where do we want to begin? Let's begin. Let's begin. First of all, market breadth is horrible. We'll just show you the 30 minute market breadth out here right now. Let's see what it is. We've got 87 instruments above and 233 below for the S&P 500. So that's bearish. It's bearish for all of its other time frames, 6240 daily and weekly. As we take a look at the NASDAQ 100, it's a 13 above, 45 below. So we've got very market breadth bearish um, indications for uh, all the different five different time frames that you and I track. That's the first thing. Second thing, we know that the dollar out here, we take a look at the dollar. Dollar negated yesterday, it's TD9 count top. You've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. Should target 107.66 out there. That's the only other pattern that I've got in play out here. However, what you and I know is that U.S. dollar index is a... Uh, simply a reflection of five different currency pairs. So we really need to understand what's going on in the underlying instruments before we make a call that that U.S. dollar index is headed higher. So for that, we're going to go ahead and switch over. That's not actually the charts that I wanted. Hmm. <laughs> so let me do this here. Let me close that out. So I had to reboot my system during the uh, just before we came on the air out here, at least this part of the system. And... Let me try this set of charts. So let me move over. Yeah, we'll switch some screens out here. We're going to take a look at the daily. 
first, then we'll go down into the intraday charts out here. Because there is a possibility that the dollar is getting ready to turn. Of course, we may have said that many times uh, recently, but um, we're going to take a look at what those requirements would be and why might it be getting ready to turn. Well, if we take a look at the uh, daily time frame for the euro, that's in the bottom left out here, you'll see that today is actually going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count. It says that today uh, or tomorrow, we should see the completion of that pattern. Price should at least make its way up to its oscillator and change line. If, in fact, that unfolds, what I see in the euro as well is I see a TD sequential 13 count to, uh, yesterday. So that says if we see a close above the close four bars earlier, that would uh, confirm that bottom signal out there. Now, the last time we got a TD sequential, actually, we've gotten a couple of them. Uh, none of them have really worked out here. So I don't know that this one is going to work either. But we do have two potential bottoming signals out here for the euro. And so we're going to look at those short-term time frame charts. And if, in fact, we get a turn here, regardless of whether the dollar itself negated its TD9 count pattern, it really won't matter. The second uh, currency pair is going to be the yen. And the yen out here right now has a confirmed roadsman to mid. Well, it doesn't have a confirmed pattern. It looks like it will confirm at day's end a roadsman to indicator top. It just needs a bearish reversal candle. Got a nice big old bear sash candle right now. But we don't know what it's going to look like at day's end. Uh, its TD Nike out pattern is likely to go away because today's close looks like it'll be below a close, the close of bar number four out there. So that, but we don't need to have that pattern. There's also an A to B equals CD. So there's a couple different signals that we're getting from the yen that are confirming a top. If the yen moves lower from here, that will get stronger. The U.S. dollar index will get weaker. Obviously, a TD9 count bottom in the euro uh, will, uh, uh, if we move higher, that will also weaken the U.S. dollar index. And with regard to the pound, yesterday the pound negated its TD9 count. So that says it wants lower price out there. Well, we know the real key level for the pound is going to be that oscillator and change line. We've only seen two closes above that uh, for several months out here. That number right now is printed out at 121. Let's move from these charts into the 30-minute time frame. Why? Because if we're going to see any kind of a change in trend out here, we're going to see it first on the intraday charts. So we'll move over to that set of white background charts. And here you've got the euro on the left. Now, in the case of the euro, earlier this morning at exactly uh, 1230, that was earlier this morning. What the euro did on a 30-minute time frame was a confirmed ATD 9 count bottom. What we saw out here during that 10:30 time frame out here, we saw the yen really take a, a move to the downside. We saw the euro do the same thing, but all it was doing was testing that TD9 count breakout level. So that held. That says, okay, we've got some potential out here. Now, right now, all I can see is a sideways consolidation. So we need to see a close above the high from 430 this morning, 1.0493, to give us some type of signal that, hey, maybe this is starting to turn in that turn based upon that daily TD9 count signal. The yen, no reason for us to, although it did form a TD9 count top as well, that held, uh, that uh, we saw a price spike above that level, but it's still at that bar's end. It's still closed below it. That TD9 count top is still in place. Now, the Great British Pound, we talked about the daily time frame, no bottom signal there. However, we start seeing these TD9 count breakdown levels fail. The first one is 1.209. We saw one bar close above that. If we get two consecutive closes above that, that's going to suggest, suggest that the pound's going to make its way up to 1.2146. Whether it has a bottom on it daily or not, that will still weaken the U.S. dollar. So we want to keep paying attention to these three currency pairs out here because they represent 83% of the total of the U.S. dollar index. And if we get a bottom, sig get some bottom signals here or the right signals here, we should see the U.S. dollar index pull lower. And that ought to take the markets higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Still all U.S. indices trading to the downside. Uh, we've got two requests in, so we'd love many more. Whether you're in the Tiger's Den or you're listening in, you can give us a call at 877-927-6648 or send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject hitting, please put radio show questions. So the two requests that we have so far, the first one from ELO inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at ticker symbol XHB. So that's what we've got up on our screen out here. And what do we see on the daily time frame? I see an A to B equals CD to the downside. I'll give you that price prediction. I'm going to do this on the other screen of mine because I can give you an accurate A to B equals CD level. Let me just see where is that high, 85.13 or 85.11. We're going to go with 85.13. And so that's the A point. Well, it's really not an A to B equals CD. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So if we take a look at here's what I was going to use for the swing high. But if you take a look at and I'd have to use this uh, data point right here. Uh, from August 25th is the B point. But if we take a look at that retracement, that's almost 100% retracement. So that's really not an A to B equals CD. Now, we could take a look at one right here along this line. So why don't we do that? And that would look like this. So here's your A to B level. And we take that down right there. And then I'll just simply move this over to the uh, to then that, that new C point. Now, the, the volume on the swing point was from which was on September 26 was 3.8 million shares. You've done 3 million shares in two hours of trading, less than two hours of trading. This is confirmed A to B equals C D to downside gets you into that 69 ish type area out there. Okay, so we have that. Now when we take a look at the TD9 count top on the weekly basis, what we see here for the S&P Home Builders ETF is price right now is below last week's low. That's a bearish signal. And it has a TD9 count breakout level at 68.39. So confirmed daily A to B equals CD gets us towards 69. A weekly TD9 count top takes us to its breakout level of 68.39. A new profile is formed on a monthly basis. Price is now below that. 
on a monthly basis. We just began, but as long as price remains below 74.46, it would signal to you and I its intent to get between 65.92 and 68.06. So at this stage of the game, ELO, I'd have to say that the XHB, that is the Home Builders ETF for the S&P 500, is likely headed lower with 68.39 or so being the likely price target. So I hope that helps you out. And thank you so much for that request. Next request coming in from SNP inside the Tiger's Den. And SNP wants to take a look at Schlumberger. SLB is a ticker symbol. We take a look at Schlumberger. What we see out here and what the SNP was looking for was support levels. Well, the daily support level is its breakout level. And that is that TD that's generated by that TD9 count pattern. And that's at 56.62. I would say now there's an A to B equals CD to the downside is what it looks like. Although that retracement as well was pretty high out here. So that's more than a 0.786 retracement. So we won't really go there. We just simply have a confirmed Rhodesman indicator top and price likely targeting 56.62. What happens if price closes below 56.62? Then we're likely headed to 54.22. 54.22 is the bottom of that weekly profile. Now, the holdout here, the, the positive, if you will, is longer term for Schlumberger. And the positive here is that price remains above the top of his profile, 56.91. So watch that level on a monthly basis, because if you get back inside there, then you're likely headed to 53.64 or 51.04. But right now, the level to be watching S&P inside of Schlumberger, I would say, would be 56.62. Hope that helps you out. On a 30-minute base, there is a TD9 count top. I'll just pull this chart over here real quickly. There's your 30-minute TD9 count top. Uh, price right now is trading below profile levels. Watch 57.18. Uh, you can actually watch the TD9 count bottom. That's down here. So on a 30-minute basis, you could say the TD9 counts are working pretty well. I'd watch that low, which is 56.86. You close below that, that's going to be your signal that Schlumberger is headed lower and likely going to go target that daily TD9 count breakout level of 56.62. So ELO and SNP, I hope that that helps you out. I do see a couple of other requests that looks like here. Let's see. Uh, John Camp wants to take a look at, hopefully I haven't overlooked anything. Um, wants to take a look at Nike. So let's just pull up Nike. I don't have all my charts up because I had to reboot that system just so it could get up and going here. So now we take a look at Nike, which has got that beautiful TD9 count bottom. Big, huge gap to the upside. Question is, is this going to fill that gap to the downside? And I don't know the answer to that question. We're basically trading with inside that gap. We're trading with inside a profile, a profile that has resistance at 89.74. And if we close below 89.74, then I would say odds favor we get down to 90. Uh, I'm sorry. That was the bottom of the profile. 91.90 is the top of the profile. 89.74 is both the center and the bottom. So right now, what I'd have to say, what do you have to say, Steve-O? Hmm. Well, let's see here. On Nike, what we got out of it was a two-day rally. So, you know, kind of normal. This looks like we're going to look at potentially day number two to the downside. Boy, I don't have a great feel here for what's – let me see what's going on on a 30-minute basis for Nike. You know, certainly a sign of strength out there on that big gap to the upside, that big wide-ranging bar. I don't have a real good clue on the 30-minute base, but we are trading below profile level, so it would appear that the uh, pressure is to the downside. Um, on a weekly basis, the level that I'd be looking at is 86.24. On the daily time frame, do I have anything that signals that that's where likely we're going to head to? I really don't, not at this stage of the game. So for Nike out there, I've got to put it into the category of um, I'm just not sure. So I know that's not what you wanted to hear, John, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, that gap's wide open. Let's just say odds favor that maybe price is going to head back down there. So I do hope that that helps you out. Sorry I can't give you anything more definitive than that. Maybe we'll get some additional information tomorrow, and we can come back to that. Nitram says, Mr. O, GBXY, please, at 1849, swing in the cards. Everything seems to be lining up as such. So what, please... Please is 1849. Let me see what UVXY, trying to figure out how to help you out here at Nitram. Um, so you're looking for a target of 1849. Maybe that's it. So a, where, where price is likely headed in UVXY, you'd say. So the most recent high is 18. 
49. I guess that's what you're looking at. And that's the high out here from the trading session of September 27th. So you're inside that swing point. Let me just move over to my other charts out here. Give me a moment here, change windows. We'll go over to the black background chart. And so that's a logical spot. Don't know whether that's where the end of the move is for you out here. Uh, you know, you could actually get on UVXY, you could get a version of an A to B equals C to the upside. If you're asking here, where is resistance? Well, first I'm gonna go with your, your first category, that prior swing at 1849. If price gets above that, 2009 could be a, a price target uh, playing this uh, very volatile type instrument out there, UVXY. So uh, I, I don't know if that answered your question for you, Nitram. If it did or didn't, uh, you can write back to me and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. John, and see Nike is up on the day. Okay, Steve, uh, what's a good support level for Microsoft? Let's go find out what that is. So uh, we will go ahead and put Microsoft in my other system and we'll get back to those white background charts momentarily. Actually, saved by the music. We'll do that when we get back to this break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back 
folks, look at all U.S. cities trading downside Dow down by 390 points. S and P's off 57. Let's go out to Bethesda, Maryland, and speak with Sue. Sue, thank you very much for calling. How are you today? Hi, thank you. How about you? Thank you so much for you taking my call. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, th thank you so much for taking the time to call. So uh, I know you want to speak about uh, Exxon Mobil. XOM is a ticker symbol. Uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. Yeah, I I, I bought this one uh, when it's very high, one eighteen or almost one nineteen, but they keep falling down. So I don't know what to do because I was thinking to do a long term, but. Thing sure. Like, I want to know how 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 what we're going to do with this. Okay. It, we lose a lot of money for this one. Well, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Let me let me help you understand at least what signals or levels to be watching out here. Yeah. So as we take a look at, so we've got three different time frames up on our screen right now. And the first thing I'm going to do, because you've held on to this, I'm going to take a look at the longer term screen first, the monthly on the very right hand side. So on the monthly time frame right now, what we have Exxon Mobil doing is testing its key uh, support level. There's really two out here. They're both about the same area. The first one is its oscillator and change line, which is green. What that tells us, Sue, is that we have a rising price oscillator above zero. That might not mean anything to you, but what it tells us is that this is a bullish instrument for this time frame. Not until price closes below that level, which right now is 114.86, will ExxonMobil for a monthly period of time have lost its momentum out here. Now, there is resistance. That resistance was formed actually back in April of 2023. And the reason it was formed was because there was a bear sash candle, bearish reversal candle, that formed after that. That formed in May of 2023, and that confirmed what we refer to as a Rhodes momentum indicator top. So the resistance level, which was tested last month for ExxonMobil, uh, the resistance level is 119.92. Now, the volume on that April 2023 level is 293 million shares. Last month, you were pushing up with 320 million shares. Price rejected that high, again, that high being 119.92. When you reject a high and you've done it with volume, that tells us that price wants to be back up there. So odds favor, you're going to see at least another test of 119.92. Now, uh, that was really the third time up to those levels. So there is this saying or belief that the fourth time up should price get up there, it'll bust through that area. So there is some hope for you on the longer term. I mentioned two levels on the monthly time frame. The second level is the top of its profile, which is 115.74. You closed above it last month. You're trading slightly below it this month. But watch that 114-ish area. If price gets below that, then that tells us we're likely headed lower. The next headed lower area, this would take me to the weekly chart, would be in the 113.91-ish area. What we have here on a weekly basis, what we have here on a weekly basis, Sue, is we do have a TD9 count top pattern. But not until we see a close below on the weekly basis, that oscillator and change line, will the signal turn to something other than neutral. So even though we have a confirmed top, what we really have is a neutral signal. And it's neutral because price is really right at the top of its weekly profile, and it's above that weekly green oscillator and change line. Go ahead. Do you have a question? Yeah, okay. So... Uh, the next level was 115.14, right, you said? The, the, first, the first level you're watching is going to be right now, it's at 114.85. A second level to oh, watch, 114.85. A second level, 113.91. A third level, this takes me to the daily time frame chart. And with the daily time frame chart is done, it is pulled back, and right now it is testing support. And support here is the bottom of its daily profile. And that level is 115.21. So there's three different numbers here. Each of, those each of those numbers were for different time frames and are different support levels. I think you go with the lowest oh. one. If you get below, if price closes below 113.91, what the signal to you and me would be is that price is in its intent is to get down to about 108.42, and so you'd be taking oh, more okay. heat. Yeah, I know you didn't want to hear that. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen just yet because right now price is testing those support levels. But watch those support areas. If price closes below that, you know, absolutely call me back. I'll help you navigate, see if there's any other signals that are out there. But right oh. now we've got price that is still holding some key support areas. So I wouldn't jettison the position, and you've held on to it for a while. Um, you know, the other thing that impacts the XLE is Lightspeed Crude. And Lightspeed Crude at this moment in time, I'll, I'll switch over here. 
I just I can take a look at that. I've got three different future contracts that are set up. Go, so go, go ahead, Sue. Yeah, no, I saw on the screen you said you're going to do, do XLE, right, to look at it. I did. We did look. Well, I know. I was going to move over to Lightsweet Crude. The reason I want to take a look at Lightsweet Crude is because of its directional correlation that it does have to the energy sector, a direct correlation that it would have to ExxonMobil. And here I've got November, December, and January of 2024's uh, Lightsweet Crude contracts out here. And what we can see in each of them, just like ExxonMobil was testing support on a daily basis, so too is the November, the December, and the January contract for Lightsweet Crude. These are not suggestions at this moment in time that you get rid of your position here um, because uh, these have held support these have pulled back and they've held support and if lights recruit is going to head higher then likely exxon mobile will as well i think if i put up the xle charts which i'll do right now for you we're likely going to see the same kind of pattern as exxon mobile because xle i believe is still the number one holding and by a significant portion inside the energy sector the xle but let's take a look at it anyways now the xle does not look as good as exxon mobile did xle might be targeting or should target 87.54 and that's a td9 count breakout level and if that area fails 86 86.55 would be its next price target area the xle much like exxon mobil has made three runs at highs out here so maybe that next time up is the time that it actually takes it out out there so i still think uh, oil uh, is a, a good place to be longer term and i still think the energy sector is a good place to be but you may take some heat so i think specifically with regard to exxon mobil i think we answered your question and gave you your support levels that you need to watch if those support levels fail you're likely headed lower and again call me back and or, or write in and i'll be happy to take a look at uh, look at that instrument for you does that help you out yeah yeah, I really appreciate so much. Steve, you the best. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. You're, you're, you're you most welcome. Then. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You do. You you have a wonderful day as yeah. well. That was Sue in Bethesda, Maryland. That was the energy sector, the XLE. Now, I believe that Nancy in the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at Microsoft, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't write it down. Just going from memory here. So uh, if we take a look at Microsoft, now what I don't know is what did Nancy want? I think it was she was looking for support. Turns out that right now Microsoft is basically sitting at support. In the case of that, I'm going to switch, switch over to my other screen just to make sure I don't have too much of a delay here, which is the bottom of of its daily profile. So this is a bullish structured profile, Nancy. And that bullish structure that says support should exist between 313.48 and 315.49. And price right now, it got down to a low today of 313.08. We're trading at 313.88. So far, that level of support has held out here. So you were looking for, a, and if that area fails, where you're headed to, well, you've got TD9 count bottom support that exists at the swing point low from September 28th. And that low down there is 309.45. Now there's 19 million shares. You're pulling back into that with, with pretty good volume. We're already at 6 million shares, but Microsoft, it's got support at that level of 313.48. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at 
TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's down 426. S&P's off 62. NASDAQ 253. Russell's down 28. We're taking a look at uranium. URA is a ticker symbol. This is for LB out here. So as we take a look at URA and LB is wondering where is this headed to? Well, that's pretty simple. Stevie will say it's headed to its weekly oscillator and change line. That is currently printed at 2481. Lee, as price moves lower, that's going to move lower as well. But that's your range out here. The next level is 2409. Now, how do we come to those come to those areas very simple we take a look at the daily time frame chart the daily chart generated a road momentum indicator a top out there what price is doing right now is it's trading below its bullish structured daily profile uh, 2603 is the bottom of that profile. That's signaling to you and I that it wants to make a move to where price had broken out from. I'm not saying that's where it's going to bottom. It could bottom. It should bottom. But that would be at the 2409 level. So we got 2409, 2481. We know on that weekly chart as price moves lower, that's also going to move lower. So what we're going to give to you is 2409 is the likely next price destination for URA. I'm not saying that happens today or tomorrow, but that is where price is likely headed to. You just got a consolidation in uranium inside the monthly time frame chart is there anything else that i can assist lb with i can if price is going to head lower on a 30 minute basis you're going to see uh, price close below the uh, swing point uh, from earlier this morning so this was trying to form a road momentum indicator bottom uh, that low is at uh, 2540 you get below 2540 that's going to tell us okay we're getting ready to get down towards that 2409 level now this is going to be day number three to the downside it looks like inside of uranium ura being the ticker symbol out here typically you don't get more than three or four consecutive bars to the downside so if you don't find a short-term bottom today you should get a little bit of a short-term bottom that forms tomorrow or maybe a bounce for two consecutive sessions out there. That's what I see when I take like a URA. I hope that that helps you out, LB. And thank you for taking the time to write in. Uh, I don't see any other request inside the Tiger's Den. And um, let me see here. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So uh, what do we want to take a look at? Let's take a look at let's take a look at Goldilocks out here. So GC, the December contract, we'll just put it up here. And uh, what we're going to notice out here is that today is going to become bar number nine of a TD nine count pattern. That says that we should see a bottom form between today and tomorrow. Doesn't guarantee it. 
but it does suggest that we should see that. Now, there's also what gold has done is gold has already achieved the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. By the way, on the weekly time frame chart, it says, Stevie, I don't care what you're thinking about a daily bottom. I want to get to 1765. That is a, that's its TD knockout breakout area. And the monthly chart says I'd love to explore 1745. And maybe that's where price is headed to. But we do have these daily TD nine count patterns to uh, to consider out here. And that's why we want to pay paying attention to both gold and the U.S. dollar index out there. Because if we do get a turn, we don't have a turn just yet. But if we do get that signal, it would be nice to have that signal at the same time that you've got a daily potential bottoming signal inside of Goldilocks. Now I'm going to switch charts out here. We're going to go take a look at the. So you can see here. Um, you've got no bullish reversal candles on this big, swift move, waterfall move to the downside, right? Yes, that is exactly right out there. And that's going to be really important to understand out here. Because when we take a look at this chart now, we go back to this chart here, the daily time frame. What you're going to see is you're going to see a couple different A to B equals CD patterns. Here's the longer one, the bigger one, and that price projection was 1838. Along that C to D leg, we had another A to B equals CD. The 1 to 1.272 is 1834. We have hit that area. We've got a TD9 count. Should we just go ahead and take the long trade here? Well, from my standpoint, the answer would be no. What we want to do is wait for a bullish reversal candle, even though you've got a TD nine count pattern. Let this more difficult pattern confirm that we've got a bottom out there. Let's go to uh, John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm uh, uh, very well. Thanks for taking the call. And uh, thank you. That was very timely that you just brought up that daily December COMEX gold chart. Uh, fascinating how we've very abruptly and quickly yes uh moved into uh bar nine of that td9 count on that daily charts yes yes so it's got potential but as you and i know we've got to see you know we've, we've just got to see a uh we've got to see that u.s dollar index turn at least at this stage that's what i believe we've got to take a uh, look at out there so uh, it's got potential yeah, I, and uh, and just I'll, I'll just share this with you steve um yeah. i'm glad you mentioned that I will just mention this. I'm saying this for my benefit. I'm saying it out loud. Uh, perhaps it's a benefit to you and your listeners. With the moves that have been as abrupt as this, uh, specifically in the uh, U.S. Treasury bonds, that bond futures contract, the decline in gold, yeah, these very abrupt moves, uh, this is no guarantee, but they can, there's a possibility, and we've seen this in uh, in the past, if we go back far enough in history to see very violent and abrupt reversals. Um, so I don't say that as a forecast, but be on guard for that sort of phenomena. No, there's no doubt. And, you know, it's just really it's a it's a it's an ideal setup. Uh, for for metals, but we just got to get some participation from the uh, king out there. So um, nobody wants to nobody wants to pound at this stage of the game. And uh, but I know you you were calling about not gold necessarily. You were calling about light sweet crude. And we've got a couple minutes here uh, left in this break. So uh, uh, tell me how I can best help you there. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, you've been uh, helpful to me. I've uh, spoken to you on air a couple of times in the past. Oh, six to eight weeks about the uh, emerging and then actual breakout rally in crude oil. And yes. um, um, you've uh, heard me say that, prior, and this was prior to Labor Day, that I thought if, in fact, crude oil rallied above 8350, uh, and 8350 was what I called a prior roof. It was a nest of prior highs going all the way back into uh, April, I believe it was. And we broke above that. And uh, I had surmised that once we got above that, we'd extend. And then thereafter, 8350 would likely become a new floor. Mm -hmm. um, and we... Uh, so what I wanted to do was just ask if you can share with us where your daily and weekly charts stand today. And after, uh, after you do that, I'd like to just share one final observation. Sure. So it is just right now, it's just the November contract that you're interested in. Is that correct? Correct. 
Great. Okay. So let me put those up on the screen here. So we got November, and this will go ahead and populate both the daily, the weekly, and the monthly for us. So on the daily time frame, like Sue and I were discussing, we were taking a look at both the uh, November, December, January contracts. Lightspeed Crude is consolidating with inside each of its daily profiles, and that's what it's doing right now, John. And uh, price did close by a smidgen below the bottom of that profile, which is 88.87. But right now, all that I have was just a consolidation with inside profiles 88 87 being support and resistance being up at 91 89 if i are 91 61 if i take a look at the weekly profile I'll tell you what just stick stick with us through this breakout here what i don't see on a weekly time frame is any kind of a top instead what i see is a consolidation measure move breakout that should take us up to about the 102 level but uh, we'll come right back we'll speak with john we'll finish out the show looking at light sweet crew Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a Lightspeed crew. This is November contract with John in Philly out here. We've already established that we just have a good old fashioned consolidation on the daily time frame with price trading within its profiles. The support is at 88.87, resistance 91.61. When I look to my weekly time frame chart out here, John, I showed that price was consolidating consolidating going back to September and that consolidation breakout took place on September 8th. So we had a basically a full year's worth of consolidation. And as you know, when you break a consolidation pattern, it gives you a price projection, which is a measured move. It's equal to that consolidation pattern. So I've got an A to B equals CD and a measured move price projection takes us up into the 97 to the 101 ish area. The key level, and on a monthly basis, with regard to lights we crude, it closed above the top of its bearish structured profile last month out there. That is a bullish signal. And that says that it just needs to deal with resistance, which stands at 94.34. And that's the high in the November contract from June of 2022. So the real breakout, John, would certainly come with a close above 94.34 out there. That's what I see in the November contract. What, uh, what questions? Does any of the information that I just shared with you pose that maybe I can help you answer? Steve, uh, that's very helpful. I appreciate that very thorough. As always, one last observation I just wanted to share with you, Steve. Yes. Um, I always look to do calculations, come up with speculations, and, and then be interested to see if price in real time tests any of those speculations, price levels, time levels to give me proof or uh, or negate uh, ideas. So I'm yes. always looking for uh, real-time price action to, to negate or confirm some idea. Anyway. Sure. Um, hey, you're going to run out of time. I'm sorry, John. You're going to run out of time. was yeah. fire roof. No. Right, right, right. Hey, John, sorry about that. We're out, we're out of time. Folks, uh, stay tuned for all the great programming. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday.